In our everyday lives, we're often faced with problems that were resolved by cooperating with each other. Cooperation is the hallmark of the human species and understanding the drivers of that is a key question that is faced in economics as well as in many other social and biological sciences. What we do in this research project is examine some of the drivers that lead us to cooperate. How much do you know about the reputation of the people that are in the group that you belong to? Do you know who is connected to whom? The way we capture the concept of cooperation in our project is by using what is known as the personal dilemma. Together with my co-author, we built a platform to do online interactive tasks and to play these games that represent these uh, cooperation situations. You can choose whom to associate with and therefore whom to play the game with. They had to decide to cooperate, but at the same time, there's an individual incentive to defect and not to cooperate and make yourself better off. But if everybody does that, then the whole society is worse off. There are really two main takeaways from this research. The first one is that reputational knowledge is fundamental to sustain cooperation. If you have reputation information about everybody, then the reputation is much higher than if you only have information that is local. The second key result is that social knowledge also matters, but in a different way. If I can see a picture of all the connections of the different people in the group, then from that picture, I can figure out where the cooperators are located. And then I can break the links and form the links to make sure that I get into a cluster of cooperators and essentially exclude the defectors from the network. The distribution of cooperativity is very important. Sometimes in some circumstances, you want a very a closely connected community that cooperates and maybe creates something like Wikipedia. Uh, at the same time, one consequence of these social networking sites may be the creation of close-knit communities that exclude uh, outsiders. Knowing more about the social environment that we inhabit has an impact on our behavior uh, in everyday life. And I hope this is a starting point on this journey to increase our understanding of this important topic.